à Lola Palooza a dû être annulé en, en raison. Non, vraiment pas. Excusez-moi. So the translation is no, really no. The reporter says this adamantly to the man on live national television. Afterwards, the reporter decided to go on both Twitter and Facebook and call out the individual for kissing her. I'm going to read some translation from her Facebook page. I would like to make a statement. I do not encourage this man in any way whatsoever. No one should enter my personal space and kiss me while I'm on the air. It is neither adorable nor flattering. You wouldn't kiss me if you saw me on the street. This is not suddenly acceptable because I am a woman in front of a live camera on TV. Kissing someone without their consent is always a no. And the reporter Valerie Michaela Bain has also posted clear photos of this individual online. If anyone out there can identify this individual, they're being asked to call Montreal Police. Michael. Now, as you said, Neil, this is happening, or did happen, rather, at the Oshiega Music Festival. And this is not the first time we've heard concerns about security at that festival. In fact, others as well. That's right, Michael. Last year at the Oshiega Music Festival, a young woman says that someone slipped a drug to her and she started to feel uncomfortable. She went up to the security and tried to report it, but the security guards apparently ignored her, thinking that she was just an intoxicated person who really didn't deserve their attention. This year, the company that manages the music festival, Evenco, they've publicly stated that they were going to add new security measures, including a special team that is designed to watch out for women at the music festival to make sure that women who attend this event are safe and secure. This also has happened in the past. Reporters working for the CBC have been approached by men. As you see on your screen, this is an event two years ago in British Columbia at the Squamish Music Festival. One of our colleagues named Megan Batchelor, she was reporting live on television to the Vancouver audience when a young man tried to kiss her. That young man was later identified via the internet he was 17 years old. He publicly apologized. And afterwards, the reporter, Megan Batchelor, accepted his apology.